friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about UDF in PySpark. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So friends, in the previous video, in the Databricks, we have seen how to write the minimum, maximum and all the functions, right? So using these standard functions, we can directly get the required values and require, we can perform the required calculations and already I have done a video on UDF like what is a UDF in which case we have done I will give it in the I button please go through that if you have any questions on the UDFs so basically when something some outside of calculation you want to perform on data frame data in such cases we will use the UDF because in the with column itself we will not be able to perform these kind of functions we cannot directly access the functions in with columns because of that reason that user defined functions we will register them as UDFs and then we will use them uh, in the with column so that we can apply that functions on the data frame columns so friends I am taking the same order items dot CSV and uh, I, I have created a data frame so now let's create a UDF to understand uh, and here what example I am taking that is in the previous video we have seen taken mean we have seen how to get the mean right using the describe function and we can also say how summary works and all that. So let's say uh, in PySpark right we can actually use uh, various libraries like numpy, stats uh, in that beta functions and also statistics we can use right. So let's say for for some business reason we have to use some uh, sta mean from some other library not the mean that is available in the data frame we don't want the average we want the another calculation from the other library like numpy or something like that so in such cases how to write the UDF okay in most of the cases this is how the business scenario works right so because of that reason I have selected this concept so first we have this order df right order df so let's write with the column now let's say I want f mean f mean is a function for getting the mean of the given data f mean data I'm just giving like the name of that any name you can give so this is available in the statistics library so I am saying that import as st this is the standard library available in PySpark Python okay so here for example uh, I, I I have to use this uh, standard statistics sta functions uh, some function here inside the width column then it, it is not going to work so for that reason we have to create a UDF okay which means that user defined function for that we have to define a function first so I am just simply writing get mean and for the given two values ok so now what it has to return is I am creating a sim some, some, some variable z and here I am saying that here statistics st is there right st dot f mean of this f mean will take only one single variable which is an array type so I am passing these two values as A and B because now we in this uh, scenario, sample scenario I will be trying to get the mean of the given two values from the data frame that's why here I am taking the two variables uh, I am sending to this one so this is a sample scenario friends if you have something else you can do the to the similar way you may you may not be I mean you need not to send two all the time you can send one two three or any number or no number or anything and similarly you can perform any kind of calculation and you can return anything based on the available libraries okay if it's just sum right get sum a b return sum sum means the sum of a comma b that's it it will work so based on your requirement you, you just create a small function like this then we have to register so first step is to create a function the user defined function and second step is to register the function so now I am saying that mean UDF equal to 
UDF of get mean and it returns float type. So we have to from PySpark dot SQL import func types. Okay, from uh, here I'll, I'll put the types. Okay, because we need more many star. Okay, this way we can import all the types. Types here mean float type, or integer type, struct type, everything. All these will be available in this standard library. So now we have created a small function. We have registered this. This is the return type of that. And then now we have to apply this UDF function in the with column. How to do that is so now call this function. This will take two parameters. So f dot call of what is the name of that is this is the data frame, right? This one and this one I wanted to send. So product price. Okay, comma f dot product price clear. So I am sending this and then finally I am saying that show after adding this new column by performing this calculation show all the variables. Okay, so let me run this. So, friends, here you can see if mean data is a new column created in this data frame by taking the f mean of these two functions. So for understanding more about this fmean you can go through the statistics library because here I am just taking as example of considering the mean value of the in the array given array okay and similarly let's say numpy random value if you want right just import numpy as np and np dot random return z and you can use directly if you want to send only one one uh, parameter just you can send whatever parameter you, you don't have to send two or whatever you want right? so how many you are sending here those many parameters you have to send here and this is how you can register the UDF and you ca this is how we ca you can use it whatever name you are giving it in this line right so that UDF you can use it user defined function this is how we can use UDF for example for anything you you are writing a function like how in any other programming language if you write any function without registering as UDF you cannot directly use it in the data frame for that reason only we have UDF's concept and this is how we can use it hope this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you